one of our best defenses against polarization and dehumanization is clever social structuring. So to explain this, let's turn to the Iroquois Native Americans who lived up around what's now upstate New York. And they're known currently as the League of Peace and Power, but they weren't known as that 400 years ago. 400 years ago, they were made up of six tribes who were always fighting with each other, really bloody battles. But then, in the 1600s, they were brought together by a man named Daganawida, who became known as the Great Peacemaker. He combined them into one nation, but of course, that's not enough. If you simply push people together, that can fall back apart easily. Daganawida did something much more clever. He structured clans so that each tribe member ended up belonging to one of nine clans. So I might be a member of the Seneca tribe, but I'm a member of the Wolf clan. And you're a member of the Mohawk tribe, but you're also a member of the Wolf clan. The key is that the membership to tribes and clans cross cut. So how is the Seneca tribe going to fight against the Mohawk tribe when I'm a wolf and you're a wolf? And by the way, my Seneca friend is in the Hawk clan and your Mohawk friend is in the Hawk clan too. And so when we all consider waging war, we think, I don't want to do that. I got friends over there. I've got fellow clansmen. <laughs> 